Welcome back to another episode here on the Pixelmon Revolution server. This is episode four. My name is Dash or Caleb, and it is a pleasure to be here today. It has been about a full week since I've gotten to play on the server. I've been so swamped with work. I've been missing out. So much fun. Like I was saying, I've been missing playing on the server. I'm sure a ton of fun stuff has been going on. I'll probably run by spawn later tonight and check out what's been going on over there. But at the end of the last episode, I mentioned that uh, at the beginning of the next episode, now this episode, that we needed to move all of this into the base because we made the interior, the first level interior of our base in the last episode. So to start off, we need to get rid of all this so we can actually start working on our area out here. I also need to make a couple areas below, like a sub-level 2 and 3 for breeding pods, farms, and things of that nature. So I want to work on that. That'll probably be a more off-camera thing that's going on in the background this episode because I want to do more building this episode. I want to work out more waterfalls, more pathways, and I want to do more planning. That's kind of going to be my focus for this episode. We may do a little bit of Pixelmon stuff, but right now I want to get caught up with where... I've planned to be uh, at this point in the series so I want to get a lot of this area planned out at the very least and I definitely want to get some more building done at least on the river over here by the base to make it look like a really pretty almost finished area over there. That scared the mess out of me. Someone joined our discord call and the noise just absolutely scared me. I completely forgot I was in the server. Uh, no one was in the chat so I just I didn't even think about it. Uh, but there's a ton of people online. There's always people on this server, like around the clock. It's never empty. So yeah, there's always going to be people on. Uh, but as I was saying, I need to get things moved into our storage room. So I'm going to work on that. And when I've got a lot of that progress done, we'll come back and uh, actually start working on, you know, planning out, moving other things around and doing a little bit more building, hopefully. All right, it has been a while since our last little segment opening up the episode, but I got everything moved in here, as you guys can see. Uh, absolutely everything is in, it's organized, it's looking good, and we have done a whole lot of other work. I brought in this, this was our books from AFK Fishing, we got our beds over there, some PCs, and we've done a bit of work downstairs, so prepare yourself. Whoa, <laughs> uh, I kind of went crazy. This took probably somewhere between four, five to 10 hours probably. I was gonna say four and eight, but I think five to 10 sounds, I, I think a little bit closer. Uh, it's definitely not done. This is gonna extend this way. There's gonna be, it's gonna go this way and then down a few blocks. So it kind of follows the, the shape right here. And it'll follow that line down, follow these lines down. So yeah, uh, still working on this uh, but these are all going to be breeding pods i think six is good uh we need if we need to we can always extend that way this is laboratory blocks we've got uh some of the factory blocks for the roof from chisel we've got leaves uh different assortments uh oak spruce and the white cherry up top this is another chisel variation of the laboratory block as well as the walls here um this is dark medium tiles and checkered tiles, so, and I just mix them so it looks cool and random. I like it. Um, but yeah, definitely got to do more work down here, but about to start breeding down here. And in order to do that, I want to get a ditto. Now, we caught a mew last episode, I showed you. And I think I could probably, yeah, let's put this here. I need to craft it first. So let's do a bit of crafting together. This goes here, there. Here and here. Yep, that's the fossil fossil machine. And then we need to take one go here. I think like this. Orange tank. Okay, then we take the other one. Go here. Aluminum plates on the top, obsidian on the bottom. Green tank. Just like this. I crafted this earlier. And we've got a cloning machine. Okay, so uh, let's mentally prepare for this. Uh, let me put some stuff away real quick. Okay, I put some stuff away. Let's get, let's put him up. And now, not random pokes. We need to be over here. Let's get our Mew. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's get, what, what's this guy? I want to get a synchronized as well. So, where's our good ones? Jolly. 
And I got a timid around here somewhere, but oh, he's not named. Okay, let's check real quick. Oh, first one. Summary, synchronize. Which one was that? Yep, that one. Okay. So, okay. We will make. I'm gonna summary rename him real quick. There we go. So, we wanna get him first. I wanna try and get a jolly ditto, because why not? Okay, ten, there's gonna be a restart in 10 minutes, but I can get a uh, jolly ditto. Uh, I think that'd be nice. Just, I don't know, so that we can kind of work on offspring, like, with a good nature, if the IVs aren't good, which I'm sure they won't be. I'm not sure how much room I need for this. I'm gonna put it there. Oh, okay. Big, big boy. So insert mu. Okay. So now I can get another guy back. And how many balls do I have? Quick ultra dust balls. Okay, so it turns out I need to go get some more balls. Yeah, I need to get more Pokeballs, so I'm gonna go buy some and then I'll be right back. Alright, we are here at Dash Tower. Uh I think I think it was Grimer, that's what someone said. Uh, they put R2 twos right here, so it says R2D2. Thought that was funny. Uh, I'm not gonna take it down, I like it. Um, but we've got some shops moved in. Wyatt's got one right here, and J Mac has one right here. That we sold them floors. Uh so I'm gonna buy some balls. From Wyatt, they're pretty fairly priced, so we're gonna give him some business. And then we'll go back to base and hopefully catch some dittos. Another thing I totally forgot to mention is I got Thunderstone armor and I put enchants on everything. I just need to get Feather Falling 4 here and then Mending on everything. Let's grab our Master Ball just in case it's a Mewtwo. I am using gold blocks. I think that's something we can use. Yeah, three. So I think I'm ready. I'm gonna lead with Ampharos. I think I just do this. I've never done this before. Okay, processing. What's it gonna be? I kinda hope it's not in Mewtwo, because then I gotta build a whole another one of these, I think. I can't see it. Oh, it's a ditto. That's good. Okay. So I gotta wait. Oh man, restart in five minutes. I didn't catch this guy. Okay, Mew went back. And then, okay, I fight this guy. Can I just... Quick ball? Possibly. Nope, he broke free. Let's go to Ampharos. Alright, we're gonna Thunder Wave. Oh, of course they used Parish Song. Now we just gotta throw a whole lot of Ultra Balls. Nope, broke free. That was close. That must have been close. I got five minutes to get this guy. I think I could do it. Oh, wow. That Parish Song. What?! No, what happened? I didn't kill it. Oh, I'm gonna have to play that back. Oh, no. Does Parasong kill the Lapras? Because it used... Oh, no. Alright, well, I'll be right back after the restart to hopefully get two dittos. Alright, the server is back, we are back, and I'm going to try this again. Uh, it does turn out that the Parasong killed the Ditto, as far as I could tell from the recording. So we're gonna make sure that does not happen again by not having Lapras in our party. And we'll lead with him. Insert the Mew. Let's get back Persian. Okay. We'll lead off with Ampharos, Thunder Wave, and then just start chucking balls. Let's do this. Be a ditto. Don't be a Mewtwo. <laughs> I don't want a Mewtwo. <laughs> Alright, it's a ditto. Leading with Jolly. Let's start. Oh, oh, I guess he healed up, so I gotta switch to Ampharos. Oh, look, you can see through the world. That's a Corp Dungeon right there. Okay, let's go back to here. Fight. Be very careful. Thunder Wave. The attack missed. Okay, it keeps avoiding. Okay, so Thunder Wave keeps failing. I'm not sure why. Can you not Thunder Wave a ditto? Let's wait. Oh, it transformed into an Ampharos, didn't it? Okay, this just got harder. Is it nighttime outside? I can't tell. It looks like it's nighttime. Means we can use Dusk Balls. Three? Nope. Okay. Well, I'm just going to try and catch this guy, and I'll see you guys. Hopefully when we've caught it,
We got it. Nice. Okay. We got a ditto. Let's see what he is. Quiet nature. Okay, so I'm gonna go for Jolly again. Let's this time have him turn into something else. Yeah? Like, switch it out like that. We'll have him transform into Persian. We'll switch to Persian first so he can transform. And then we can Thunder Wave with Ampharos. So, oh, I gotta get, gotta get the Mew back. Should really put a PC over there. Put the Mew in, okay. Maybe it just copies the Mew's nature, I'm not sure. Okay, Jolly. It's gonna go into him first, that's fine. I don't want him to transform into Abra, so I gotta switch it out immediately. Because then it'll just teleport away, and then we'll lose. Alright. Come on. Another ditto. I'm only using gold because I have more gold than I have iron. Not because I'm trying to get a Mewtwo. If I was trying to get a Mewtwo, I'd use diamonds, which I had enough, but... Oh, no! Well, I got one ditto. Let's, uh... Let's see, how are we gonna, how are we gonna do this? I don't want to use the Master Ball. Let's see what we can do. Thunder Wave? Okay, we got it paralyzed. So that's... I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's start discharging. Okay, yeah, that didn't last long. Persian... This shouldn't kill it. Oh, that did a lot, though. Okay, we need to be careful. <gasps> oh no! I killed it. Wow, that's probably the worst thing that could happen. We killed two out of the three things we got from our Mew. This this was bad. This is definitely a episode four noob moment. I need to get a false swiper. All right. Well, regardless of that, we do have a ditto. Let's check its IVs. I'm sure they're absolute trash. The attack IV is not terrible. Not bad. Yeah, the defense IV isn't terrible either. So we'll see. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna, you know, do some breeding and stuff. I'm gonna keep working down there, and then, uh, <laughs> when I've kind of shrugged off this defeat, we'll come back and we'll start, you know, doing some building and stuff today. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, it's been a while since, uh, that last clip. I'm pretty sure the last one I, like, killed a Ditto or a Mewtwo or something, but it's okay, because I caught three extra Mews, and I have harvested them. I've got two Mewtwo's off of them. One is Timid, which, uh, w would be good for a special attacker. Uh, I think the Mewtwo X or the Mewtwo Y, like, one's an attacker, one's a special attacker. And then I got... Uh, no, okay, let's try this one. Summary moves. And then, yeah, mine a special attack, which would be good for an attacker on this one, I think. Yeah, so I've got a Jolly and a Timid Mewtwo. And we got, let's go all the way over here to Breeding. A bunch of Dittos. <laughs> we got five Dittos. I got six, but I gave one to Trin because, gotta go all the way back over here. A Meltan spawned on her, and she couldn't catch it, and I did. So, we've got a Meltan now. It's just a serious nature, so not too great, but not the worst, you know, because nothing... It's not like minus... Like something that is important to Melmetal, I'm guessing attack. It's not like minus attack, you know, that'd be horrible. So yeah, not too bad. Right now we're bringing up Lucario's, I don't know if they were here earlier. Uh, but I got a female Lucario. I was using like one with a ditto, because I never got one. Or a female Riaulu. Um, so we're bringing him up for our gym team. Uh, and I'm bringing up some guys for our, uh, this is our gym right now. So we got a decent Infernape, decent Coma. Oh, I want Lucario as a part of our gym team here. Uh, all fighting types. Uh, the tournament is in five days. 
So this episode will probably come out like the day before, and we're just gonna hope uh, that you know everyone's not watching my video to try and get the upper hand on me. So if you're doing that, stop watching. Um, but I'm probably gonna go with uh, he who get Shadow Claw, I think. So we're gonna go with um, double team on this guy uh, by moving rapidly. Essentially, it raises its evasiveness. So think. Minimize, yeah, same thing with double team here. Uh, and then we've got Shadow Claw. I don't really know what else to do. The level cap is 40. He doesn't get play rough until 42, which is so annoying. And he's an attacker, and that's like the only good physical attacking. Fairy move, Moon Blast, but I don't have a team for it. And even if I did, it's a special attack. And this guy's stats. No, okay, that's not that bad. But still special. Yeah, it's horrible. 39 versus 82. Kidding me? So, and uh, we've Eevee trained him. I need to get rid of... Okay, I did actually get rid of the special attack. I need to increase the speed IVs all the way. But he's almost done. So, yeah. Uh, this guy's almost done. We're doing Lucario for our gym team. And another guy I want to get ready for the tournament is a Ferrothorn. So... Now, I, need, I actually need to catch a Pharaoh Seed and start working on that, but that's going to be more off-camera stuff. What I want to work on now, really, is you know doing a little bit of building out here. Uh, I've done more work uh, downstairs, but in the last episode, I said we were... I want to try and get... I said I wanted to try and get this area all nice and sorted out, so that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to do a bit of building around here, and then we'll come back when I made some progress. Alright guys, I'm back and I have bred up a Ferrothorn and trained it to level 40, like the level. Let's take a look at its moves. Uh, I've got Iron Defense, Power Whip, Ingrain. I would prefer to have Leech Seed, because um, Leech Seed gives back 1 8th of the health, and this only does 1 16th, and it means I can't switch out. But, um, uh, it'll be okay, I don't have the TM, and he doesn't learn it other than for an egg move and the tourney is coming up in like two days so i don't have time to do that and then we have a a powerful grass type move a powerful uh steel type move that's not really the setup i wanted on him i want to put thunder wave on him instead of power whip but i i bet i guarantee this isn't gonna work i swear i just oh throw it out Nope, didn't learn it. Even though he can learn it, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, teams are kind of broken right now in this version of Pixelmon, from as far as we can tell. But yeah, I got the Ferrothorn, and I'm running a Rocky Helmet on him because his ability is Iron Barb, so inflicts damage to the attacker on contact, and this, Hold on, it causes Pokemon to make contact with the holder to take one six of its maximum HP in damage. So... We're compounding damage here so every single time they attack us physically uh they're gonna take damage and his special defense look at this is through the roof compared to everything else 129 this is 127 because we uh we trained it up with evs so let's go slash evs six yeah so we trained up special defense defense a little bit and hp so we've got a very good ferrothorn now let's take a look at the building i've been doing I added a nice little bridge right here, it kind of just blends in, um, and this is what we're going for with our river like decoration, this is way better. I've got another waterfall right here, and I'm continuing the river down on this way. So I've done it up a little bit to about right here, uh, I still have a whole lot more to do, but I did do a little bit of work uh, over here, just you know, figuring uh, this out and I also I think I dug it out more to the coast over here yeah but I still have to decorate all this up and it's gonna be a ton of work to do uh, but maybe we can work on that you know between episodes a little bit a little bit during the next episode but next episode is primarily going to be the tournament that, that that's what I believe at least so I'm only gonna show the two guys I have um, so far I had the Mimikyu and the Ferrothorn so we have four more pokes uh, that I got to get ready for our tournament uh, and they're actually to be honest they're already ready for our tournament but I'm not going to show them on camera because I don't want anybody to try and like oh that is not me but I'm jealous on whoever that is on 
because I'm mountain foothills. I don't any, I don't want anybody to watch my video and then try to plan against what we're doing. Uh, I had a you know a little practice battle with Trin, so she but she only got. Sorry, Trin. <laughs> if I'm watching this, I'm kind of exposing you. She only saw three of our pokes in that battle. Uh, we finished her off pretty easily. Our Mimikyu essentially double teamed up and then just swept. So, and she saw a Ferrothorn as well. So, uh, she's she's not really too sure of anybody else that I've got yet. So that's good. Uh, we want to leave it a mystery until the tournament, so nobody can plan to counter us that hard. Even though I'm not sure anybody is that dedicated to the PvP to plan to counter us that hard, I'm not that dedicated to do it. Uh, and uh, and I feel like I'm more dedicated than most people on the server to the tournaments and such. So, anyways, that is all I've got for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed making it, and I thoroughly enjoyed building this. Let's get up here. Maybe y'all can get like a, a nice view of it. There's probably like a... You know, like the screenshot for the thumbnail somewhere around here. Yeah. Really enjoyed making this. Uh, it definitely looks a lot better than it did. So, yeah, that's always a win in my book. We gotta, we gotta do a lot. But if we're gonna have stuff here, we're gonna have to probably have our... If we're gonna have, like, the gym thing over here, it'll probably be over here, too. So we're gonna have to have our path come out and veer this way, which is... I'm totally okay with because it means we get to cut into this mountain and do a bit of overhang work. Um... And I've kind of already got that planned out, what I want to do in my head. So I'm going to work on that probably uh, a little bit in the next episode. As well as the like final tourney preparations, as well as like, you know, teaching TMs. If we can, hopefully, maybe. Or if we can, you know, there's a few admins on the server. We may be able to like give them to TM to throw in lava and then they could force teach it the move to our Pokemon as long as the wiki says that they're supposed to be able to learn it because there is a bug with TMs and TRs right now. So anyways guys uh, that's all I've got for this episode. Again uh, I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Dash and as always thanks for watching.